and some places are really hard to find them. So, yeah. Yeah, I think the video cuts off every 10 minutes, so you, so I'll keep recording, but you might miss, like, maybe three seconds in between the time from me doing that, so, uh, forgive me for missing three seconds of this, of these videos, if you even give a crap. Hopefully you don't give a crap, oh my god. Yeah, I just collected some, pretty sure I know what it is. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. Just making sure I got all of the uh, awards, because there should, if I'm correctly remembering this, there should only be 50 precursor awards in this level. Oh, I <laughs> didn't even know that was there. And if I miss any, I will go back and try to... There's a door, and then he's going to explain to it. Okay. Door. It's a door! Guess I've never seen one, so I guess i got to figure out what it is. I think without him talking and stopping me every second, because they're going to stop me again right up here, I think I can figure out what the door does. Blue eagle vent, and then there's a door with like a little blue ball above it of like energy. And I see that I move faster and collect stuff. I'm pretty sure um, you could have figured it out if you really tried. <sighs> Samos, you kill me. I remember one time I missed getting the power cell and I had to like do some glitch crap to get back up here to jump up from the water. I mean, how I done it, it was just terrible. This is the only level, like, this is, like, almost the only water throughout the entire game you can actually swim in without getting murdered by, like, a shark. Murder, lurker, shark, whatever they are. They're pretty much assholes, though, if you want to get all technical. Okay, there's, we have 40. He's going to stop us here about the green ego. Yep. Which we've been collecting it for the whole time, so I figured if he was gonna talk about it, he should have that should have been like the first thing he was gonna talk about after the orbs and the power cell. No, just right before the orbs, because we were getting those boxes a little bit like a couple seconds before we were doing the uh, other thing in the jungle. Yeah, give me some of that green eco. Alright, we need yeah, I've been I've been jumping um, this entire time. I'm not dumb. There we go. We got all 50. And there's only four power cells here, so Geyser Rock is 100% complete. One, 100 percento completo. I could just fall. I could work too. I guess. I guess it really doesn't matter in the end. Well. Cutscene time. <laughs> Good training, boys, but that's nothing compared to the challenges that lie ahead. And in no problem. We got the moves, eh, Jack? We'd love to stay in check, Big Green, but we're uh, itching to get on with our adventures. Fine, fine. Adventure away then. And while you're out adventuring, why don't you make yourself useful? My darn green eco-collectors are clogged up again. Head out to the far side of the beach and clear them out, why don't you? Follow the thefts. Leave you right right. No. Now over oh. you. Get out of here! And that's all you can do here. You can talk to him again in a second, and he'll just tell you what, like, what are you still doing here? Why haven't you gone off your ass and done something? And then he'll scream at you to get out of there again. And cause a very disasterful earthquake while yelling. And we can talk to Kira, but she doesn't, it just, I mean, it's a good cutscene, I guess. Um, you, you see that de I'm dead. First death, come kill me. Is it going to? I guess not. Oh, it's because I'm in shallow poop land. 
I could have sworn. Because usually if you just fall from somewhere. There's a couple things, like interactive things you can walk by and the characters will talk. Um, there are a couple of those. I'm going to make sure I didn't miss. I'm pretty sure there's nothing, but I just want to make sure. Yeah, there's nothing. Because I don't want to be doing something else and completely forget. So I'm not even going to talk to half the people here. Because all they do is tell you to do something. I know the mayor, and he just wants us to go to the Forbidden Forest. Or jungle, or whatever, and... Get all that cool stuff done. So, um... Yeah. Um... There's the main... Oh, that's right, there's a thing in the Jagger in here. Scout flies. Um, you do have to collect. Because... All seven do give you a power cell, and if you don't collect them all, then you won't do it 100%. If you're just trying to play this just to play it and get through it, not try to get 100%, um, you still do need, to, do need to collect some power cells. I think at the most you need 72 or 82 to completely get get goodbye from the game. And with that, you're still going to need to collect precursor orbs anyway to do certain things to get certain power cells and stuff so it's not like you can just completely ignore the fact that you um you just don't want to I mean if you don't want to that's fine I remember when I was a kid I didn't even try to complete the game 100% I just played it because I wanted to play it and then um I've done a, I've done a hundred percent. I got um, since it's on the PlayStation Vita, it had like trophies and stuff, and I did get a platinum trophy. I got platinum. The only games I've ever gotten platinum trophy is is in Sly One, Sly Cooper and the Thieves Raccoon, is Sly Two Band of Thieves, Sly Three Honor Among Thieves, and Jack and Dexter: The Precursor Legacy, which is the one I'm playing now. Um, like without recording right now, I'm playing Jack Two. Um, the controls are a little bit annoying, I'll admit that, because of the fact, um, you have to, um, like, when you're switching, uh, like, zones when you're driving the zoomers and whatever, it's like, um, you gotta touch the back touch pad from the Vita, and it's, it, it gets, not hard, but it just gets difficult because you gotta, like, touch that, and then if you're walking around, and like, you know how you hold, like, a, like, like a handheld game, and if you hold the back, like, if you tap the touchpad or whatever, if you, like, touch it, it puts you in, like, first-person mode, I don't know if I can do that here, no, but, you know, I'm glad, because that's just annoying, absolutely did not enjoy that, ow, there we go, we got five, did I miss, did I pass Bird Lady's house, yeah. I don't remember. I know there's another power. Uh, there's another scout fly somewhere behind me. I'm trying to figure out what the last one is too. I just tripped. Okay. I'm not gonna say that's weird. I'm just gonna say that's weird. And then there's a couple. Uh, so, oh no, both the power so the both the scout flies are over here. But I'm not gonna like. I'm not gonna sit here and say that. Um, you have to talk to everyone, because you don't, like, even to complete the game 100%, like, whenever you go to, like, the next, um, town, you don't even have to, like, open up the gate. To, like, let Samos and them in, it just gives you, like, cutscenes and stuff. You honestly don't have to do that, but I recommend you do so, because if you forget something and you want to go to another world, like, quickly, instead of having to travel all the way back, like, let's say through, like, Fire Canyon, um, you need to, um... If you have the warp gate, you can just use that, and it's just, like, instant transportation, and it just makes... Whew, it makes things so much fun. I remember I was playing this my first time when I first bought the game a couple days ago, and I kept, I kept falling off right here, and I kept having to do it over, and it took me, like, 15 minutes. And that was just annoying. But we got it. Power cell. I don't know why it's, like, collect all seven for a power cell. Because even in the beginning, she's like, one of the scout flies has like a random power cell, but to get the power cell, apparently the seventh one you collect has it, and none of the other ones will, and I think that's stupid. Here's the oracle, 